TF Nation, the entertainment fee community. Who are going? Who are they up on the Wednesday? Are trendy Wednesdays. And the people want to know who for name a trend. But Nation, <laughs> God, we have an interesting piece of video for us in Nation. But we're not going to waste some more time still. Make a jump in it right away. We are going to kick off today's report or tonight's report with a message to the young dancehall artist. Them. A message from dancehall artist Cargo. To all new oh, Jamaican road, artists. Road. I said to all our new artists, them out there, the time when I fly out, make sure I say, I'm going to get at least 60% of the money before I touch that plane in the air. I make sure say, your management team send them a contract. You don't make them send them none. And if you sure work, yes or no, you're supposed to get your next half or your next quarter of your money here, yes, sir. That has nothing at all to do with the young one. No, sir. You send them a video for the show for promoting. Post one pan Facebook, one pan Instagram, and one pan TikTok. That is your job. And if they have any radio station line up when you go, you hold it. You know, you, 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 you just respond to turn up, you know, respond to the result. If you don't really work, 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 and you have a conscience, you can, you understand? But it is not your duty to pack up the place. It is for them duty to sell the show. We spot them come from, you know, live there. The other day, veteran dance and artist Mr. Lex took to Twitter where he shared this. Ten minutes into my performance last night, my right lungs collapsed. Went straight into surgery. I'm okay now, I guess. Thanks, prayers, big up the doctors at Andrews. A lot of people were wondering what caused uh, Mr. Lex right lungs for collapse. Well, Mr. Lex recently shared more info on that. Mr. Lex took to Instagram where he shared this video with the caption stating, Just gonna leave this here for my friends who smoke. Not telling y'all what to do, but I definitely wouldn't want y'all to go through this. Every 12 hours a different set of needles and medication you can't imagine the pain damn amari dj mona lisa you know oftentimes when she go up on social media and see her things and be a certain type of way the fans them are the people them not to agree with her but nation amari recently made a statement which a lot of people agree with what is that statement amari took to instagram where she shared this shen say again i'm disappointed in you never knew you had no interest to become dancehall queen and only intended to be in dancehall five years don't throw away your stick before you really cross the water you hear that part the nation don't throw away your stick before you really cross the water i think at that part of it a lot of people have said wow but nation i want you to tell me if you don't agree with that stay tuned to the in the comment section Minister Marian All spoke about dancehall artist Spice, dancehall artist Shen Sia, Jada Kingdom, and a few others. Well, and not just the entertainers, them alone, you know. She also spoke about the little grasses, them, we kill off the people, them, in a today's society. I want you to share this live today because I want Spice to see it. I want Aishana to see it. Yes, I want Shen Sia to see it. I want, uh, what's the other name? Jada Kingdom. All of them. I want you all to see this because you're selling yourself short and you're going to hell if you don't turn around. I'm telling you that because I was you and it's disgusting and you need to stop. And I don't know if you have a heart like mine or you have a conscience. I know you have kids, some of you. And uh, I don't even know what to say. Because we all make mistakes and sometimes I believe even you, um, Sincere, when I look at you, you're so beautiful. I love the relationship that you have with your son. I made some bad mistakes and, you know, um, there's another woman, Spice, you need to relax. I know you, you were living with me at one point and the way you, you, the, you fight for things, you will, you, will, you will go to health to get it. I know you. And I just want to reach out to you this morning. I don't care how you take it because I'm not trying to look friends. I'm just here to talk to you because of who I was. You know, I'm still not perfect. I still made wrong choices. I still choose wrong men, you know, and stuff like that, you know, because I did. Yeah. And um, not that I choose them, you know, when I'm a Christian and doing anything that I shouldn't do. No, I didn't. Yeah. But I just want to talk to you. Breathe and the, 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 you feel the things of the world when you're greedy for it, you will lose your salvation. And this morning, I want to speak to you. I really want them to share this life. I don't care how you take it. I'm not afraid of you, Spice. I'm not afraid of you, Aishana. I'm not afraid of you, none of you. Yeah, 
I'm not afraid. We can stay here some mud up the wall along with Jesus thing, yeah? But I just want you to take a good look at just look at what you've been doing. Because I started it. Yeah? And I just can't rest unless I speak to you. Yeah? You're going overboard. It's like a race to hell. Yeah? It's like you're racing each other to get to hell. You know what I'm saying? And if one take off a top, the other one take off a panty. It's like you're constantly competing and the devil is rejoicing. And I, I have a sermon. It's titled, Submit Yourself or Go to Hell. And that is where I was heading. And I want to talk to you this morning. Share this life. And I choose this song. I'm choosing two songs this morning. Because I want to reach you. I want to reach you. Because the God I know, he speaks. And the God I know, touch hearts. And if you're saying you know God. And you call his name. And you never hear his voice yet. I want you to really seek him. Because baby girl. Sincere, when I look at you, I saw something, you know, things popping up, because you're all popping up like spams on these, these phones. And baby girl, when I saw you, you look helpless. It's like you're doing forced labor. You're too beautiful. Oh, God of glory. Come on now, sweetheart. Your mom passed recently. Not, I don't mean to bring her up, but I don't think she would be happy. Please, turn. You're my sisters. Turn. 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 Turn in Jesus' name. Turn in Jesus' name. My poshata. Remo shai. Yabo koshete. Yabo I want you all to help me to pray for these women. We going overboard now. Mm-mm. I started it, so I need to hand it. Yeah, there's no award that you could want so bad that you have to do what you're doing and you have children. I God. I believe God grabbed me just in time. So I'm praying that God will pull you. Open the eyes. Take that skin from all of your eyes because I want you to look at yourself. Look at yourselves. I was once you, darling. I was once you. And you know what? Just so that you don't feel offended, I want to, I have this right here to finish off the sermon, but I'm going to read it first. I'm, I'm hurting for you. And I just want you to know this. I'm not perfect now. And God is looking for perfect people. He's looking for people like you. It's a disgrace. It is shameful. You, what you're doing, just competing with each other. It was happening already with me and you, Gracie. Everything I do, you would do something to top it. Are you all going to do, do, do till you get to hell? Turn. I don't care if you love me or not. I don't care. Even if you're my enemy this morning, I love you. You see, every time I pick up my phone, it's either somebody sends something to me or something just pop up like spawn. And I've been seeing my little sisters and desperation. Is, has taken control of them. Oh, God of glory. This I was the worst of them all as a sinner. So I'm not excluding myself. I am talking about where I'm coming from. Even now, I'm still not perfect. Even now, sometimes I'm tempted to send somebody to hell. Yeah, but I see where people are racing to hell on their own. They're pushing each other. So let's get to the sermon. James chapter 4, verse 4 to 8. You adulterers, 
and our adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Meaning, God and the world are not friend. God and the world is not friend. Yeah? Meaning, the, the people who behave in bad in the world and all kind of this and that and corruption and evil and nastiness. God is not friends with the world. Meaning, you can't partake from the devil's table and come back and partake. At God's table, you can't drink from the cup of the devil and then come sit in here to drink from the cup of God. You've got to choose a side. So the adulterers and adulteress, adulteress. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. God resists the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. Submit yourself therefore to God, you gunmen, you murderers, you rapists, you criminals, you people in high places that is killing the, 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 the people of God, you evildoers, you prostitutes, you harlots, you warmongers. God is talking to you and I. He said, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands and purify your hearts. He double minded people. You have a double mind. You believe that because you say, Jesus. And you're not living accordingly. God is happy with you. God is angry at you right now. My sisters in the music business. I was chief of you all. But you, you really gone down to the muck no man. You at the bottom of the barrel man. You gone down to the dregs. It's like the Bible said, you, yeah, it's, it's like you're wringing out the dregs now, man. Come on, women. Look, you have children. Let's go. And I don't care. You've got, eat me, I don't care. Because some of you already ate me. Because I, I don't care. I'm not looking any friends from you. I just, I'm, I'm leading you, trying to lead you into righteousness. Because what you're doing you're, you, you have a one-way ticket to hell if you don't turn. And it's because of greed, the wealth of the world, the riches of the world. Listen, it's not just you, my sisters. I'm talking to men and women, people, even people in ministry. I'm talking to you. The, the greed, the loss. Lord Jesus. God of glory. Take over again. Take over again. I ain't looking no friends here. Yeah? I am a hell raider. Yes? And I'm raiding hell on your behalf. Because what I'm seeing, not just you, but even my brothers in Jamaica. Come on now. Come on now. What kind of videos are, are those that we're seeing? What are you doing? You have the devil just pressing your buttons. You, you just want to just take lives as if you can give life. Come on, people of God. Pray, pray. You need to pray for these people. Pray for our sisters and our brothers that the devil let go of them. Pray. Pray that they submit to God now. Pray that they put down their weapons and go to God and pick up the weapon of war. This weapon is all you need. This weapon, you win every battle with this weapon. There is no weapon like the word of God. It's sharpened and two-edged sword. This weapon here will cause them to freeze and, and freeze and kill fire. Sister Olympia, pray with me for Jamaica. Pray with me for my sisters that are, oh God of glory, come on now. You are not dance or queens, you are dance or prostitutes. You are not dance or queens, you are dance or strippers. Come on now, man, grab a hold of yourself now, Jesus Christ. I cry.
waiting for you. Somebody talk to them. You are with them. Talk to them. Come on now. Jesus of Nazareth. Think about your mother. And the way you were brought up. Come on now. You're selling your souls for what? For what? To spend eternity in hell? I almost. Almost went there. Makoshata. Rebo shekitete. Rimanda yamakata yaboshata. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will assign angels to you, Spicer, to speak to your heart. Yes, Shansia, come on. Look at your son and you will see God. Look at the relationship that you have with him. Come on. Last night and I went to research. I said, I said, let me look for Aishana. Yeah, because I heard something like she had run away from something. You know, because it seemed like when she saw that this was taking her to hell, she pulled back. But when I put her name in, I found that she was still singing the same thing. Lady saw thing is played out for people. Women. The lady saw call out man on stage and spread out and flat note. It mash up, it done with it, it's it still. Nobody don't want to see it. People just laughing at you. Mako shatter. You want to look like the world and sound like the world. My God, why you think I wasn't signed to no big company? You think I didn't have the pen and the contract? Yes, I did. Yeah, where you are, Spicer, could have been because the woman that you take away from around Miss Casey is who connect you to love and hip-hop. Love and hip-hop, you need to go love God and love your children and walk away from sin. Monday, Kataya. Rebu Shaka. Everybody say them have a girl. What wrong with you? Monday, Kataya. Boko Shebo Shaka. Man sweet abo kataya shaya. How when them abuse me. Makobo shaka. Look abo shaka. You know if you follow fashion. I'm not against people and what they want to do. Concerning their sexuality. Because I have gay friends and God didn't tell me. To run them from me. Yes, God talked to me once and tell one of them to stop doing some things that he was doing. I said, God, I can't tell him that. But God woke me mouth when I make the call and I had words to tell him what God said. He knows and he still watch me. He knows I'm not lying. And he did turn some. When he was about to explain him thing to me, God just start speak to me. And I said, well, him say, he tell you, say. And some of the things that God told me to tell him, I don't remember. Even today there's a young man that always seeking I told you about him and when I tell him to go and get baptized he got the Holy Ghost and I love him no less if he was still and he's still struggling I know he's still struggling but I love him no less yeah but somehow no follow fashion yeah that's what you're doing a follow let me tell you something Let me tell you something. I don't want to stray from the topic. What? I'm not looking friends from you. I'm trying to save you. Save you from burning in hell. Hell is real. And no money can pay. You can pay off a radio man, pay off a, 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 a this one, pay a money to get on the, the biggest platform. To sit and do interviews and pay somebody to do, do this and publicize you as if all is well, but you're lying is lies. You're unhappy. At night time, you, you, you can't sleep comfortable. If you have a heart and think about them children, you can't sleep comfortable. When I look at your little sense here, there's something about you that I like, an innocence that I like. When I look at you, there was something that I saw. I saw Megan, yeah, the stallion or whatever stallion that she looked like a stallion. There's a there's a video that pop up when she lap you and she just slamming you. Yeah? In our position. And she's slamming you. And when she slam off, it's like you look lost. Baby girl. You look so innocent. It's like forced labor. Please. 
Look back at the video. When you first come out to wear your costume with horns, you're looking for the devil wearing horns. He's not coming with horns like that. The Bible didn't say you have horns. He's right next to you. He's sitting right next to you telling you what to do. Think about how you were brought up. I would do a song with you. I hear you one time you put out say you love if I do another heels on and something like that and people almost crucify you. I would do a song with you. I would. I did get a message from Spice. Wanted to do a song before her album came and she sent some people from VP and I run them and said, uh -uh. yeah, if you all clean up yourself, I would. I would. I'm not telling you to baptize no. I'm not forcing you to the water. But God did tell us to go and spread the gospel. I love you. I'll give you two spice for all you did to me. Yeah. I know, I know how you are. You're very aggressive. To get to the top, you will kill to get there. You will step in people's head and that was what you did to me. To get to where you are. But I'm not mad at you because that was not where I should be. This is where I should be. God ordained this and put me here so I can speak to you all. Submit. Or go to hell. And I said this. With no disrespect. No hate. No jealousy. There's a door. God is the door. Yeah? He's there. I pray your mother will pray with you, Gracie. Yeah? Yeah? And I pray that you don't take this message in a negative way. But if you do, so be it. I'm not afraid of you. Because I know you. Very hard to deal with. Anyway, people of God, let us get back to what I was saying. See some things. I'm like Marian. Is you start this in up, so you better hand it. You start it, so finish it. Yeah. There was a woman by the name of Lady Pacho. She said she was the queen of the pack. She stole a song from me. I wrote this song when I was in Canada. I'm on a long distance call. I'm talking to my. Be a bit down a yard and she stole it. I almost slap her over at sing one night for it. Yeah? But I leave her alone. Yeah? When I look at her now, there's a woman that assigned her. I, I think God assigned Chevelle Franklin to her. Chevelle used to pray for me and I saw Chevelle now praying for that woman all the time. When I look, it's like she's lost. She's so lost. Trying to come back so many times. Come back to what, Patra? Go to God. There's nothing for you to come back to. You, you, you go gain the world and lose your soul. What does it profit a man? People of God, we need to start praying harder than before. For our sisters, the time you're there, telling them then this and then that and they look good. You don't look good. The addition that you put on don't look good. Sanchia, your barn look good. You didn't need anything else. What's wrong with you? Gracie, you didn't look good. You don't look good again. You mess up yourself. You follow fashion. I don't care if you like me or not. The devil is a liar and the devil is lying to you. When things start pop down and every branches are drop off and you can't catch up, what you gonna do? You have your children to live for, to see your grandchildren. Come on! When your children go to school, people laugh and talk about you. Come on now! The only way you should be seen in that manner is if a man video you unknowingly and put it out. And may God mess them up. Yeah, them type of man there. Things that you should
should have in your bedroom. You gone out, but lady say I bring bed down a sun face. You gonna bring bed now? It played out. Get it in your head. Somebody need to tell you. Yeah. Oh God of glory. There was a woman. She is still alright. Foxy Brown and I used to be friends. And I did a, um, two songs for her. She did one for me, but then she wouldn't give me the song for me and our start war. Yeah? And the, the accusation was that I like her man, I want her man. She said it to my female manager. I'm like, what? You know? Which was Praga, who was friend with my ex. You know? So I don't know how that possible. So, anyway... She was about to say something about my career and I just shut it down. And I said some things. Because me no normally not me mouth. So me under construction now but back then. I saw her reaching out to me recently. And I'm like, she reaching out to me. She reaching out to me because she's she wants me to do some video clip for another female who is going through. And I couldn't do no more than just tell her, so when I was going through, you see, when it was like the world was against me, people set people against me, I had was to turn to Christ. And that is where I find comfort and I found healing. And that is where she need to go. Tell her to go to God. Talk to God. I want to see. How you gonna take this message today? It's not preaching. I want to see how you gonna take this message. Yeah? And what you gonna say? Because I care zero about what you say. Nothing. Yeah? I don't care. Yeah? I am trying to help you because just like me, there are times when we lose ourselves. And we do things that we shouldn't do. Yeah? I am on the lineup for Bob Marley birthday celebration next week. You think if I was still out there as lady saw, I dash up and fling up and kino, you think they would even call me for such an event? I am so honored. To be a part of that lineup. That's one of the good news I wanted to tell you. There are things that God has prepared for us. There are open doors that are set before us that no man can shut. But until we clean up our mess. Until we walk away from our mess. Until we realize that that is not of God. Until we go back to our parents and grandparents and remember how we were brought up. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I will, Auntie Mer. Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah. When you go back to the way how we were brought up and not the way how the world is bringing up their children. Some of you people, the way you're bringing up your children, before time you start put on nails on them, you start doing this and that and that, and their babies, and they grow up wanting, yet yeah? you don't know to tell them, no, you can't have it. So however they should get it, they're going to get it. People, come on now, man. Come on. So when my manager told me that, he got to call, you know, and... They'd like me to be on the, the Bob Marley birthday celebration this time around. I'm like, my God. I remember when the Lord sent me to Tony Rebel. Tony Salute, um, Rebel Salute, I mean. And I didn't understand it. But for me to be on that lineup. And some of you devils, you know, I try not to tell you because you devils. You will do everything, but you cannot stop what God has already predestined. So from when, when, when I, I, I remember listening to, to Bob Molly and I hear him talk about God, you know, and his mother, you know, was from the Apostolic Church also. So I'm like, wow, God, God. You know? 
I just thank God for the the cleansing, for the cleaning blood. Yeah, the cleansing blood. You don't see it, but it is there and it's doing miracles. And I'm so sorry for my sisters and the desperation that is upon them. They're desperate. And, and they, they don't even know when to stop. People of God, I don't want to lose sight of what I'm preaching right here. Yeah? I don't want to lose sight of what is happening here. There's no more long lines to the embassy. There's long lines to hell. Yes? So long that it just wrapped around, wrap around people, children. Yeah, it's around the whole soul. It is like hell is just sucking in people at a rate that is beyond us. At a rate that is beyond the norm. Yeah? Satan has his chair leaders standing at the gate of hell rejoicing right now on your behalf. How you feel about that? Yeah? The devil and his offspring, they're standing at the gates right now. And they are rejoicing, applauding you, applauding you because you're coming, you, you, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming fast, man. They're, they're like, ah, she soon come, man. Yeah, yeah, soon enough she's gonna die. So, uh, and she's gonna die in her sin. He's gonna die in his sin. Leave him, leave him and let him, yeah, man, leave him. Yeah. And they are rejoicing right now. They're cheerleaders. Yes. And right now, as we speak, because the race, the race that is taking place, my God, people are kicking down each other to get there. And, and they're kicking up because you think you're racing another one to get to the top, but it's not the top on it. It's not to the top. It may look like it's to the top, but it's, it's hell. That is where that race is leading you to. Yeah? Satan is the, is right there cheering you on him and his entourage. Yeah, clapping you. How you feel about that? Hmm? Yeah. Listen to this. Run for Christ and stop running for the devil. The Bible says, "Run the race that is set before you, looking to the altar and finish off your faith." Your mother used to run that race. Some of you mothers still alive, still running that race. Come on, join with her and run. And if she pass, take up the torch and run with her. Run. Run and finish the race for her if she had passed. Run the race that is set before you. Look into the heart and finish off your feet. There is a finish line. And when you finish this race, the race that God has set before you, you will reach. Me and Sean, it is a very interesting life as stated before. So if you want to check out the full life, I will be providing a link in the description and it will take you straight to the full life. But when me I said oh, it is a three hour and something at life. So prepare yourself for that. Three hours and a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. But me and Sean as stated, interesting ceremony. Interesting. For now though, you see what time o'clock, you see what time o'clock we are and get the car here. And as usual, my people. Hey.